Hey guys, welcome to January favorites. I have a lot of things to cover in this video, so I'm just gonna jump right in. I have, you know, obviously makeup and skincare stuff, but then at the end I have two mommy favorites that are definitely worth me telling you guys about and intangible things that I'll talk about. So first up, there's really only been two eyeshadows that I've been wearing pretty much this whole month, and you've obviously probably seen them in videos recently, and they are by MAC, and they are Saddle and Mulch. And today, I'll zoom you in really quick. I just have mulch all over my lid. I just blended it with like an E25 brush and kind of smoked it out into the crease, but it's just one color, but it, it's really, um, a really pretty like defining. And I think it looks really nice with brown eyes and then, and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. And then saddle, more of like a, a cocoa brown and it's super pretty. So if I'm not putting mulch just all over my lid on its own, I will just do the same thing with saddle and I still kind of get that like defined look. It's just a little bit lighter. And sometimes I'll put saddle on my lid and then mulch in the crease, which is kind of in my favorite way to wear it. But for those mornings when I don't have a lot of time or I just don't feel like spending a lot of time but I want to still do something that looks pretty and kind of sultry, um, these are my go-to shadows. So I love those. Um, there's really only been one cheek product that I've been wearing this month and it's the Dior um, Rosy Glow and it's actually the color that I have on my cheeks today. And this is one of those color adjusting gimmicky products, but I happen to really like whether or not it works. I happen to really like the color that it puts on. When I first saw this, it was like a really powdery light Barbie pink and I thought it was not going to go well with my skin tone, but it turns out it's a completely different pink on my skin than it actually is in the pan and I love the pink flush that I get from it. So if you have seen this product and you're kind of intimidated because you think it's like way too much of a pink, like a bubblegum pink. I would still give it a try on your own skin in store because it probably is going to look a little bit different on everyone and I just really happen to love it. I actually do use the brush that comes with it which is very rare. I usually toss out the applicators but the brush that they give you is kind of nicer quality than most. So, so this past couple weeks I've been kind of decluttering and reorganizing my clear cube in the hopes to do an, um, trying to find the product updated makeup collection video and show you how I organize it and um, I really wanted to just clean out my collection because I'm constantly going in and reaching for things and seeing other things that I don't even use that I forgot that I had and when that happens I just it's time to get rid of them there's no reason for me to be hoarding makeup in the midst of doing that I came across my blush palettes from MAC and in my one blush palette was the shade Harmony, which I guess is considered a blush but for me I've been really loving it as a contour. It's just an amazing deep matte brown that you can blend out so you don't get such a harsh line and I've really been loving this it's it's probably the most um, true to a contour shade that I own in my collection and I honestly forgot that I had it because it's been hiding and living in my MAC palettes it is a matte color and I know a lot of people love um, Benefit Hoola that is one product that I've never owned but I feel like Harmony from MAC just kind of gives you the same results as Hoola um, this is just, I have it in like fancy packaging, but I just actually have like the actual pan that I got and I just depotted it. But I love this. Again, I just used it towards the back of my cheekbones in the concaves of my face and I absolutely love it. I use a little bit on my temples. Um, I wouldn't use this like as a bronzer where you want like kind of that all over flush, sun-kissed, tan skin. I would strictly just recommend this as a contour to slim your face, to make your your face look dimensional and I absolutely love this product and I'm so glad that I rediscovered it in my collection. To go with that, this has been the brush that I've been using to apply it and this is by Mary Kay. It's their mineral foundation brush which is actually supposed to be used to buff on powder um, foundations like mineral powders. My friend Natalie sent this to me when she sent me some other Mary Kay stuff to try and though I don't think it's, a, how do I say this, I don't think it's like an amazingly soft brush like it's definitely not a soft brush I would actually describe it as more of a coarse brush but the shape of it is very similar to my elf powder brush this is my elf powder brush and the head the brush heads on the elf is much larger this has been my favorite way to apply my contour powder I just get a little bit kind of on one half of the brush and I just kind of chisel my cheekbones with it I wanted to mention this because if you guys have a brush that you know of that is this size like I don't 
I have, you know, I have a much larger full size brush. I want a brush that's this size because I feel like with the shorter handle, I really just get a really nice control and placement of the product without it going all over my cheekbones. I kind of put, put it on and then I flatten the brush out to blend it in. I love this brush for that, but I wish it was a lot softer. So if you guys know of a company that makes a brush like this in maybe like a travel size version, please let me know because I'm definitely in the market for a dupe to this brush because I just, like I said, it's it's, an, it's the perfect shape, it's the perfect size, but it's just not very soft. But I still have been using this and love this for my contour powder. This next product, I feel like I might have talked about this last month in my favorites, I'm not sure. But regardless, I wanted to mention it again because I've been using it all month. It's the Anastasia Brow Duality and I have it in the Matte Sand and Camille Shimmer. Or I might have said that backwards. Matte Camille Sand Shimmer. One side is matte, one side is shimmer, and I've really only been using the matte side and I use it right underneath my eyebrows. A couple of things I love about this. One, it really just makes my eyebrows pop. Like it looks like they were just freshly groomed and they just really pop without even using any eyebrow powder. I used it today, hopefully you can see it. I don't have any other eyebrow product, powder, pencil, wax, gel, nothing else on my eyebrows. I just feel like putting a brow bone highlight just really makes a difference. I kind of like this better than the Benefit Eye Bright, though it kind of does the same thing. I like that you get the shimmer side as well, though, in, in all in one. And I use the shimmer side as well sometimes if I want like a more frosty highlight under my brow bone. Or sometimes I'll use it in my inner corner to just brighten up my eyes. But really, I love, I love the matte side. It's kind of just become part of my eye routine. Like whenever I'm done with my mascara, which is usually the last step, I kind of just run this on under my eyes and I blend away. Sometimes I even use the matte side in the inner corners if I'm feeling like I have dark circles or I didn't get enough sleep the night before. And I'll just use it and it just really brightens up my eye area. And I just... The functionality of it being all in one is just super convenient. Last things, I have two skincare products. The first one is from Origins. It's their Modern Friction, and I think I got this either from Sephora in a point perk or Origins gave it to me when I bought some other products. This is probably hands down the best exfoliator, exfoliation treatment that I've ever tried. I do use my Clarisonic every day in the shower on my face, which I think is a really great daily exfoliator. However, when I really need and want a really good deep clean to get under my skin and just get all the dead skin cells, I've been using this like once a week. Um, the Clarisonic, like I said, is great, but sometimes you just want something a little bit deeper to penetrate the skin and this does an amazing job. It's almost like um, microderm abrasion, but in the form of a scrub rather than the actual like treatment or tool. It's so gentle. The little exfoliating beads are so, so tiny. It's such a finely minced like cream almost. And I've really been turn turning to this recently because I've been getting some breakouts um, on my face, mostly like around my eyebrows. I don't know if they're just ingrown hairs or just breakouts, but the best thing to do for a breakout or ingrown hairs is exfoliate. So I actually sometimes just use this as like a spot treatment instead of doing it all over my face. I'll take it on my actual pimple and just scrub, scrub, scrub and just exfoliate it that way. And I just love this so much. So as soon as this is done, the sample, I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing the full size because it's just such a nice product to have on hand when your skin really needs like a deep clean or or a spot treatment. Just love how fine the um, particles in it, like the little scrubby beads. I love how fine they are and it's like a white cream. It just feels really good and really, I just feel like it really works. The last product seriously deserves a video all on its own. The Glam Glow Youth Mud Mask. This product has it's just, it totally lives up to the hype. I purchased this a couple months ago because everybody was talking about it and I really wanted to just see what all the buzz was about. I was very hesitant at first because it does have a very steep price point, $69. Um, you get 1.7 fluid ounces. It was a little bit um, discouraging when I first opened the product because I felt like you didn't get a lot of product in here. And even now, um, you can see I've hit pan on it, and I think I've only used this a total of six times. And I probably have about four, four would be stretching it, four face masks left. However, it's that good that I will continue to always repurchase this because I really noticed difference in my skin. I have done a lot of research before I bought this and apparently it was originally made to keep like backstage on sets 
for celebrities and Hollywood makeup artists to prep skin and faces before makeup application. And then it was released to the masses and it kind of just blew up from there. And they have since released, I think, two other masks. One eye treatment mask, which I got in like a sample from my recent Sephora order, which I'm excited to try. But this one particularly, you put it on, it's like a muddy gray color. It has little chunks of like seaweed, I think, in it. And it dries, and it dries hard. It's almost like you can't have any emotion on your face. It hurts to smile. It kind of, I don't want to say that it hurts. It doesn't hurt. It's just a little bit more comfortable to smile, to talk. Um, but I love it. It's so weird, but I love that feeling. And then it doubles as a great exfoliator because when you go to remove it and you wet your hands and you wet your face, you kind of massage it into your face and it has like exfoliating beads and rub it into your skin and it sloughs off like all the dead skin cells. And I've basically been doing this once a week. I look forward to doing it once a week. I have tried so many other face masks in the past and they're kind of just always like under my bathroom sink like when I feel like doing a face mask. This I like look forward to doing because I notice immediate results. Like my skin just looks clearer, it looks brighter, it feels plump, supple. But to just kind of like rejuvenate my face and my skin, I love it for that and I cannot wait to try the other masks because I am, I am such a fan, like a forever fan. And like I said, for it being such a crazy high price point, for the little amount of uses I feel like you get, it's that good and I wouldn't even tell you guys about it if I didn't think so. The smell of it, I also wanted to just touch on that, it is so good. It's just like a fresh clean spa, like therapeutic, I don't know, it just smells really really good. Um, I absolutely love it so much. And they do make a smaller size version jar of it, which I didn't even know about. I wish that I did because I probably would have started with that just because it is a high price point and I didn't know right away if I would like it or not. So just in case you are curious and want to try this, they do offer a smaller size, I think for $19, that you can probably get a few uses out of before you make the investment to, to buy the full size jar. Okay, that is it for makeup and skin. Two mommy items. The first is this little... Um, straw sippy cup. It's by Lansano. It's just a sippy cup, but it has a flexible, almost like silicone, um, rubbery straw. And we introduced this to Addison when she was seven months old because I have a few friends that are speech pathologists and they've always kind of stressed the importance of using a straw versus your tra traditional sippy cups. And there's a lot of I feel like conflicting, controversial, opinionated articles and people out there that feel very differently, dentists and all that. When I first introduced this to her, she would kind of just play with it and like pull on it in her mouth and like bite it and munch down on it. And then one day she just kind of sucked and she, she got it and she just started sucking it as the cutest thing ever. And since then we've just been using straw sippy cups. And my friends feel more so that sippy cups can kind of hinder mouth structure, mouth muscle development and things like that. Um, affects dentitions and maybe even speech and all that so I don't know it's all like crazy medical lingo that I don't really know too much about but I trust them and I trust their word and I um, I'm so impressed that at eight months old at seven months old because she, it didn't take her long to catch on she was she was drinking from a straw I think it teaches her better um, this actually kind of forces her to use those muscles to sip from a straw and so now that's all that I have in my pantry is these sippy cups and I love this one because it is a non um, spill cup which is number one and it does have like you just turn this and it kind of hides the straw so you don't have any kind of leaks it keeps it clean I throw this in my bag all the time when we're out and about um, it's easy for her to hold really imp it's like really great for her and then the other thing my friends, um, my good friend's sister has a little boy and they come over for play dates sometimes and she told me about this thing called the little seat. It comes packaged nicely in this little bag and basically it is a travel high chair, which genius, like why didn't I think of this? I could have been a millionaire by now. But basically it's this cloth little chair and it folds up really nicely to fit in that bag, so I keep it in my diaper bag, keep it in my car, and basically you never have to worry about going anywhere that doesn't have a high chair for your child to sit in. This works as a high chair, and I like it because we do have one of those shopping cart high chair covers, so when we go out to eat, sometimes I'll put those on the actual high chair, but when we go to my mom and dad's house, they don't have a high chair, so this 
transforms basically any traditional normal chair into a functioning seat for my eight month old which is genius like I said I just always have it with me because you know wherever we go even if we go to a friend's house or Nick's parents house we don't ever have to worry about where is she gonna sit to eat now that she's eating solids so basically I'll just show you really quick how it works All right, so picture me being the chair this slips over the back of the chair you tighten it up with this thing so now I'm the chair you have shoulder harnesses here that go over your child's shoulders there is two straps, one on the very bottom that goes around the back of the chair and ties, and then you also have straps here that kind of go up around, again, the back of the chair, goes through this loop, and harnesses your child in. And then they just stick their little legs through there, and it's like a little seat. It is completely freaking genius. This comes in different colors and different patterns. I, of course, got the girly one, but if you have a little boy, they have different patterns. And then it folds up and goes into this nice little travel pouch. You can throw it in the washer. It is machine washable in case you get food or it gets dirty. And it's wonderful. Like, it's just genius. Holding it up so you can just see, again, what it looks like. Um, I'm not paid by this company. This company probably doesn't even know I exist, but I just really thought that if anybody has little ones that are kind of in high chairs now, um, this was definitely worth telling you guys about because I didn't know anything about this and prior to that we would to feed her at my parents house before I had this one person would hold her and one person would feed her and it was just not convenient. It's hard to get a little one to sit still you know if they're not in a proper high chair or seat so I didn't do this very nice but basically it all folded up into that how perfect. So if you guys have little ones or if you need like a really good baby shower gift, I think this would be so appreciated by any moms. And that's it for products. Now the last thing I want to tell you guys about is something I recently found and I cannot remember where I found it from. I think I heard about it on Bethany's talk show. But I could be completely making that up. Basically it is a web browser for all your online shopping. And if you're like me and you do 98% of your shopping online, you will love this. There is one called Price Blink and one called The Invisible Hand. I have Price Blink. Basically once you install it, it goes to the top of your web browser and anytime you sign on to a retail website, an e-commerce site, it will recognize the site and it will, whatever product you're looking at, it will search the internet cyber world to find the same exact product cheaper if it exists and it will show you across the top. For example, if I'm on Target's website and I'm looking for a coffee pot, it will search the internet for that same exact coffee pot, same exact brand and everything. And if there's a cheaper version, for example, say on Amazon, it will give you the product and the link to save you a boatload of money. Again, amazing. Now, if this website does not have any kind of comparable product. Um, sometimes it'll even give you a comparable product that's more expensive. It'll just show you the same exact product available on other websites. Now they also have a part of the program or of the web browser that is for coupons. Once you sign on to that website, it will pull up all of the coupons on that website. Normally I go on retailmenot.com and I type in the, the retailer and it'll pull up coupons. Now it's like all there. I even tried it on Sephora because you know how Sephora is constantly having like different promo codes for free samples or free this, free that. So when I went onto Sephora's website, sure enough, it pulled up like all of the different free samples, point perks, um, trial size things, VIB promos, like everything. So cool, all in one place. You don't have to check different websites, search the internet for coupons. It's amazing. Again, not being paid by this company, not affiliated. But I thought about spreading the word to you guys because I'm sure a lot of you do your shopping online nowadays. So I hope that that is helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed my January favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.